Hello, my fellow spuds, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So, it hasn't actually been that long. I've got a clip which just happened, which was of some wolves trying... They came out of the cave, <laughs> both of them, clearly after eating the deer, and then tried to get me. One, I think, got scared off by the moose. The other one I killed is just over there. But this moose is really close, and I'm wondering whether I can get a decent shot on it. I did hit it. Wasn't very happy. Uh, it's probably going to come back in a second. I thought I'd give it a go because I'm pretty sure the moose ran into the center to attack a wolf. I heard it make a noise and run off. Yeah, there we go. I need to go get the rest of the deer. Uh, the bear, sorry. But what I might do is just chuck the frozen bear inside. I'm hoping it thaws on its own. What does it feel like in here? Air temperature one. It should be fine. Okay. Drop in there to thaw. Let's go back up. There it is. Right, it's there. That's harvest this wolf while it's here. And I think we're probably gonna have to get the rest of the bear meat in the morning. There's only two more bags, but I want to try and bag this moose, to be honest. Uh, we'll go in, we'll have a drink, drop the guts and everything, and we will go to sleep. Right, it's the daytime. Uh, how long do we have left? 98 hours. Does that only apply then when we sleep? Looks like it. That's really annoying. <laughs> so that's probably like another nine sleeps to go. Okay, wonderful. Let's just quickly harvest all this bear. I'll uh, drop it outside. I'll, if the moose is there, I'll try hunting it. If I'm able to hunt it, then I have a ton of meat to cook up. But I've got nothing really else to do at this point. We're so damaged. Like, we can't really do much. We can't climb. I could go explore some more of Mystery Lake if we wanted to, but it's a little bit difficult. And we should be able to eat that bear meat. I, we shouldn't get parasites. I think we don't have parasite risk right now. Good. And where's that moose gone? He's just not going to come out to play today, is he? Well, that's annoying. Um, after everything. Mm, okay, fine. Well, I'll go get the rest of the bear meat and I'll go cook it up. And if he is not there, I don't really know what to do. Well, I think what I'm going to do is if the, if the moose isn't there when I get back round, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go off camera again. And uh, I will see you guys <laughs> once I've cooked everything up, I think. Because you're not going to want to watch me cook. There's the other wolf that I hunted. You're not going to want to watch me cook up buckets of meat. That's just silly. But yeah, it was just so funny watching those two wolves just come out of the cave one after the other. <laughs> they'd, uh, they'd finished their party. It'd taken them a while, but they were finally finished. Oh, the wolf's there. He came behind us. Sneaky wolf. Keep your distance, and then I can harvest you in a minute. Has the moose just gone? I'm really hoping it hasn't, because that would be really annoying. It might just have wandered off somewhere else. Oh. Well, there's an arrow there. Okay. That's pretty eventful. Harvest his wolf. Drop it with the rest of the stuff to harvest up. Good job. <laughs> We've still got the other wolf over there to harvest, but that's fine. This moose is just gone. I don't know. Uh, I'll give it another day or so, but I reckon it's gone. It's really annoying. So, we just need to harvest this wolf. So that, that, that. Good. No more decoys. What the hell was that that I dropped? I think that was the meat pie. I didn't realize the meat pie could be a decoy. Uh, whoops, I think I've been stinky this whole time and not realized. I'm going to leave you guys here and I'll be back in a second for you, but probably ages for me once I have cooked this stupid amount of meat. And um, hopefully we'll have got to level five, which will be amazing. Oh, we've got fire starting three. Excellent. Right, while I'm here, though, I might as well keep going. Oh, you... That was so close. Uh, let's grab that stone again. Have another go. But I'm pretty sure this moose is gone. I did look. I can't see any remnants of it. I think it is just uh, it's gone for good. Poor bunny, I'm sorry. I'm back. I've cooked up all the meat. It took a few days. I am now 70 out of 120 hours I still need to do. So that's roughly going to be like, what, six days? It's not great. <laughs> If I'm honest, there was a couple of things I forgot to mention. So there was revolver ammunition on one of the shelves. Uh, there was salt. There was a whetstone. Uh, there was the snare, which I think I mentioned previously. Uh, yeah, all of that is really useful stuff. Uh, but we we're only really able to get it because I deconstructed everything to be able to um, cook all that stuff. We've also got a note left behind. Uh, you won't remember me. The world doesn't stop when the light fades. Stay calm. A note left behind. Lovely. And we've got a flare, which I didn't notice before as well. Lovely. And we've got some cloth, which I'm going to leave floating in space. 
Oh, we didn't even search the first aid kit. Well, they're antiseptic. Well, we're good, really. Uh, let's harvest the broken arrow. But I'm thinking really what we need to do is we need to get out of here. We've been in this place quite a long time. And I kind of want to crack on and keep exploring. And we can't really do that when we're this encumbered. So I feel like we need to make some big sacrifices so that we can continue our journey to a certain extent. We're not going to do any climbing. But yeah, we just need to make some big sacrifices so that we can actually do what we want to do. I mean, do we need the revolver? Arguably, no. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to put the revolver down. We're going to take the rifle with us and the bow and arrow. And that should hopefully suffice. That way, at least we're not encumbered at all. We can walk around, still explore, have a nice time. So uh, first things first, we are not going to go the way we came. We're going to go up and round. I'm hoping there aren't many wolves because we killed three of them. One that came over this hill. So I'm hoping there might just be a one or two left. We are going to go explore this little hut. We are then going to travel to the lookout tower. Have a look, see if we can find anything there. Then we're going to go back to the camp office. And yeah, we're just going to go explore, I think, the surrounding lake. And maybe do a bit more fishing as well, which I think will be quite good. But in cooking all that meat, our cooking did not go up. It only went a third of the way up. So we're going to have to kill another bear anywhere if we want the bed roll. But it looks like we're probably going to have to kill another bear and maybe a moose if we want to level up our cooking. There's another bear here. Is that just a bit much if I hunt two bear in such a short space of time? Probably. Then the little hut we want to go to is over that hill. And then it's a straight shot towards the lookout tower. I mean, technically, I could hunt it. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth it. I mean, apart from, I don't think there'll be any point. Uh, the only reason I would do it really is for the hide. I wouldn't do it for any other reason. Like, I would harvest it, but then leave the meat. I'm going to say no for now. Although it would mean that I could get a bed roll very quickly. You know what? Screw it. Let's try it. It just hasn't even noticed. Like, is it? It's not even bleeding, is it? I must be missing. I think that's just out of the range. I thought it might just be within, but looks like it's probably not. Does that look like blood? Maybe not. It doesn't look like there's any blood, so I'm presuming I've missed each time. I wonder if I can go up that tree branch. If I can, then that's that's an easy shot. Oh, would you look at that? Uh, okay, not quite. Yeah, well, it sounded like I scared a wolf. I'm just not hitting this bear. There we go. Well, I got its attention then. Wolves run off like a nut job. Where did it go? Still sounds like it's running around. Where's bear? Bear, 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 bear. Bear's killed. One. Okay, it's not dead. It's probably going to make its way slowly back, I'm guessing. So, uh, let's pick up the pace. There's a blizzard's coming in. We'll go to the lookout tower, see what we can find there. There's a wolf right there, which is really annoying. Let's crouch. Don't really want this wolf. Oh, there's two. Definitely don't want them seeing me, though. Yeah, we're fine. No, we're not going to get around that way. We'll check out the lookout tower and then... Um, no, what? No. So we need to light a torch. Screw you, really? I'm hoping it's got confused. Yeah, I'm going to assume it's got confused. That's what I went too early. Damn it. That's the lookout tower I want to go to. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Took the wrong turning. That's the radio tower. I wanted the lookout tower. 
But yeah, this is going to be a blizzard, and that if that bear disappears, I'm going to be really annoyed. Because I have had a bear die and the corpse despawn during a blizzard, and it's really, really aggravating. There we go. Okay, on the path. There we go. Right, at least we're inside. Uh, we've got a flare shell, which is nice. Antibiotics and painkillers. We have a sewing primer. Some more revolver, a rifle cartridge. Doesn't really replace the ones I lost. Um, another hatchet. Great. Peaches cloth. Another skillet. And a sewing kit and a book. Let's take the charcoal. Survey the local area. See what we can find. Ah, uh, not much. We found the lookout tower. Hurrah. <laughs> Let's finish that off. Uh, risk of internal power sites is healed. I am going to check to see about this bear. Two. Its corpse is out there somewhere. Probably near its cave. Okay, we'll go to see if I can find that in the morning. At that point, we can then go to that little cabin I talked about originally. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We should have enough light, I think, to read some more. Easier if I can get that up. Let's see how much I can read. A very clear day. It looks like we're going to be able to read it all. Ah, no. Tiny bit thirsty. Read that last hour. Well, we've only gone up like a third of the way. That's not too shabby. We're pretty tired. That'll do. And I don't know if it will let us sleep the 12 hours. I think it did. Because we are technically ill, I think every time we sleep, it will just do it. Not bad. Uh, we've got cabin fever risk, though. We're going to have to be outside for a while today. Okay, uh, what's the weather like? Horrendously foggy. Excellent. Just my favourite kind of weather. Uh, can we pass the time for like an hour? Seems just as foggy again. Uh, sleep for an hour. It's ridiculous. Come on. I just want it clear so I can find this bear that I killed. I don't even want the meat. It would be nice to get the experience, but honestly, I just want the hide. I reckon because we took so long, it probably went back to its cave, which is back on the lake. So I'm going to head back that direction now. We can then go to the cabin, uh, which I talked about originally. And then we can go back to uh, the camp office. And we can have a whale of a time. I'm not going to bother with these. Uh, broken ribs, another 56 hours. We're over halfway. It's fine. It hasn't really affected anything. Um, we were going to go to Milton, but that's not too much of a problem, really, is it? Uh, before anything else, we are on day 42, for those of you who wanted to know. Ooh, there's crows up ahead. Okay, it looks... Ah. You're serious. We, we don't have the crampons on, that's why I'm such an idiot. It looks like there's a corpse over there. Unless that's it. There's something big over there. Next to the lake. That could be it, or this could be it. Now, this is just a person buried in the snow. Nothing there. Um, well, there's, there, there's the bear. It's right there. Good. Okay. I'm going to see how long it's going to take to butcher up. Honestly, though, I'm not interested in the meat in the slightest. We're too far away from anywhere to really haul it. Fine. Well, at least I've got the hide, and that's the important thing. I'm going to harvest it with the hide with the knife. Um, I think I'm going to leave it. I think it's a massive waste, but the only reason I would do it is for the experience. And we're already quite far up in carcass harvesting. I think I'm just going to leave it. We've got the bear hide. That's the second bear hide we've got. That's what I wanted. We're good. Oh, there's a wolf right there. God's sake. I'm hoping it's going to hang around there and not come any further. Yeah, it looks like it is good. Uh, I think we need to fix ourselves up. Yeah, I don't really want a wolf coming at me and I can't hold a weapon. That just seems a bit silly. The irony that we've uh, damaged ourselves more in Mystery Lake, which is arguably the safest location than any other location we've been in so far. <laughs> so I've got two comfortable 
Yeah, it's my own hubris that's uh, done this to me, I think. Oh, I, I feel like awful about wasting that bear because that's so much meat and so much experience for cooking. But it's just, it's not, it's not gonna be possible. Here, we don't even have a stove or anything. We'd have to do it all outside. And we're too far away from anywhere else to really justify doing it. This is the house I'm talking about. Over here, there's the grove you just saw of the rabbits up ahead. I'll take it. I will take that. Um, corpse. It's a couple of saplings. Uh, what's in here? Nothing. I'm going to check out the corpse. Oh, there's a couple of corpses. That's a deer. Right. Ooh, Polaroid. Oh, forestry lookout. We've just been there. But I might have to go back for the uh for that. We need to go that way anyway. Grab these. I'm gonna check the deer to make sure uh, whether there's a arrow sticky in it or not. There is not. And then we're gonna head back to that lookout tower for the Polaroid. Oh well, interesting time really, isn't it? <laughs> we still got so long to wait till we're fully healed though. Um 56 hours. Oh, there's a wolf there, for God's sake. The same one we saw earlier, to be fair. <laughs> and that is the radio tower. That's not lookout tower. So we're way, way... We could go there, but then we can't climb. Let's go up anyway. I mean, it's something to do. We need to explore this place anyway. And I'm hoping we can do a hop, skip, and a jump down the hill towards the lookout tower. Do the Polaroid. And, uh, yeah, then we'll be fine. The only problem is that we're, it's getting late and... Well, there's nowhere to sleep up here unless we slept out in the open. Which we technically could do. I did bring the bedroll, just in case. Oh no, I can hear those birds again. They sound so cursed. I think something might have uh, happened with the audio file and <laughs> while the game's been open. It's going constantly. I, just can't, I still can't believe the broken ribs. I kind of had to experience them, didn't I? It's, it's the long dark experience. You have to have broken ribs at some point. <laughs> And, uh, oh, God. Was... Like, that's not normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to have to go scare them away. Um, where are you? Where are you? There you are. Shoo, go away. Go. It's that one. Good. Yeah, I know I missed, but uh, I didn't really want to eat it anyway. I could cook it. I think there's a place you can technically cook here. Or you can make a campfire in here. It's sheltered, but I don't want to. Bandage. Yeah, that'll be good. Uh, ooh, scrawled message. Read. In the upper ridge. Cave. Climb. Oh, that's near the camp office. And we got the Mento key. Yay, cool. That's where it was. Right, gotcha. So, there we go. We've got a book. We've got some cloth. Okay, we've got an orange soda. We have a guy with a revolver. This stuff will come in handy. Can I go up anymore? That looks as far as up as I can go. Yeah. Uh, how heavy is this? It's 90% condition. I might as well take it. Mm. Mountaineering rope. Line. Fur uh, firewood. No, I'm good. Yeah. Not a bad hole. Uh, we could use the mountaineering rope to get down if we wanted to, but we can't because we got broken ribs. So we're going to have to go down the old-fashioned way. Um, like this. And then we need to go to the lookout tower, which is just there. And we'll have to go back up there once again for the Polaroid. We'll then go back to the cave we went to uh, last episode, where we got the bow. And I can get the memento catch there, finally. And then we'll go back to the camp office, and I think we'll do some fishing for a little bit. Just because I want some, I want some safety. I think we've risked our life of quite a lot recently. I want to, uh, I want to do something safe for a change. I say that, and I'm um, traversing what seems like a very, very dangerous place. 
come on, just let me, let me there. Let me there. Good. Right, we're probably going to have to rest up here anyway. No, I'm not going to, I'm not going to heal my ankle. Astrid, you, <laughs> I'm not going to say you deserve it, because <laughs> it's all been on me, to be fair. No, you're going to sleep it off, Astrid, you'll be fine. I'm wondering if it, the quickest way to get round the uh, moose issue is to constantly give yourself food poisoning. Because if you give yourself food poisoning, you can technically force your character to sleep for the 12 hours that you need, or 10 hours you need for food poisoning. There we go. Visit location. Surveying the local area will reveal a significant portion of the region. I mean, that's nice, but I need to be able to actually light a fire first. We can light without tinder. Hey, brilliant. Woo. Right, cook up pinnacle peaches. There we go. Uh, cook up. Can't cook any of that. Cook some water. Eat the pinnacle peaches. Keep us a bit warmer. Cook a spare cup of coffee. Uh, we could also cook some water, to be honest. I shut the door. Seems like the sensible thing to do. There we go. <laughs> oh, God, it's horrendous up there. I was doing this so we could do the charcoal, but we're not going to do that anytime soon, are we? There we go. Uh, we should be able to cook that much more. Cook that much more. We're fine. Uh, is it bright enough that we can read? You're not healthy enough to read. Yeah, I, I get that. <laughs> It's probably going to be the uh, bandage. Yeah, we can read. Sleep for 12. We will see if it will let us do that or not. It did not. Okay, interesting. I thought it might do. But we've got an Aurora instead. Charcoal. Three. Survey it again. Oh, look at that. That is nice. This might be the first time I've actually done a Polaroid. <laughs> yeah, I don't normally get to do them, but this is amazing. I didn't realize you got this much of the map. So that's where we need to go. And there's the camp office. Right, we should be able to read then, I guess. Let's try and read an hour. Might let us. Yes, we can. And can we read another hour? Yes, we can. Excellent. You know what? Screw it. Just read one more. Why not? Wait till the sun is fully risen. Good. We've got one hour left, and that is marvellous. Here, a couple of these, and we will press on to the Memento Cave. Cool. I hate that door. <laughs> I do that every time. How long left? 46. Okay, let's just go. I can't risk the cabin fever getting up any higher. On the way back to Pleasant Valley is when I'm going to explore uh, the train carriages, and also probably the uh, loggers' huts. I don't think it's really worth doing it now. There's a plane. Has that always been there? Can I get there? Hang on, I've never noticed that before. So I'm presuming there's the plane. Ow. God damn it. We're okay. We're actually gonna be able to get down this bit. I don't know. <laughs> Um, we can get down here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is not worth it. There is a body there, though. There must be an easier way to get up here, because this is silly. Okay, we're fine. Right. Enter vehicle. Eh? I've never been in here before. Driving gloves. This is really cool. How have I never been in this? Let's have a little look. Uh, we've got some painkillers. We've got a flare shell here. Very nice. And is there anything in this? Search hatch? No. Uh, search hatch this side? No. Still, though, very, very cool. Uh, it's like a miniature plane crash. Got a bandage on you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, there's the easy way up. <laughs> yeah. Nothing else. Still, though, we've got a few bits. Arguably not worth it, but uh, hey-ho. The train container's just down there, so I might have a quick peek, but I'm presuming there's going to be wolves there right now. I don't really want to have to fight them in my condition right now. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to bypass them completely. 
We've got the bear skin, and that's good enough for me right now. Get some acorns from this. Hey. I think that's the first time we've got acorns this series, isn't it? We could attempt to make some food up from them. Have a little look at these ones, because I think these are also oak trees. Hopefully the wolves haven't wandered over to us. No, we're fine. I don't know if these respawn. I doubt it. But still, it's quite nice to be able to grab them. Do you have any acorns for me? No, shame. Well, we've got one set. I think that's enough to make some bread. Right, let's go to the camp office. How long do we have left of our broken ribs? 46 hours. Still quite a long time to go, but I think what we'll do is we will um, spend our time exploring the fishing huts and the cabins down there. We'll try and get as much fishing done as possible so we can get some more lantern fuel. Level that up, which will be nice and get high enough while we're here. And it will give us in good stead for uh, later on. Yes, because we've only explored the one hut. We've got like another four, five huts. And then about four, four, five houses to explore. Still got quite a lot to go. And we can at least dump the bear skin and the green maples. We've got the two hatchets. Let's drop spares of these because we really do not need them. Seeing as the moose is no longer at Trappers, I feel like this is probably the best place to make a base, so we're going to keep those spares here. Oh, stay on tight, we haven't even read that. I'm presuming, yeah, we put all this stuff down before we read anything, didn't we? Okay, we're going to have to harvest that stuff because our clothes are slightly damaged after everything. We can finally fix off our shoes as well, which would be nice. We're fine, we've got like another, what, probably four days worth of sleeping left until we are fully recovered from our broken ribs. There we go, 100%. Well, let's go chuck some stuff away in various locations. And then I think we'll probably have to sleep a little bit, and then we'll go fishing. Got another whetstone here, very nice. Uh, let's chuck some of these away. Uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to need all of them right now. Um, yeah. Right, I think we could make some hardened arrows. You do that out of fire, don't we? Need two more sticks. Or we can find uh, another five sticks and we can make a load of them. I think that might be quite good for the ptarmigan hunting, slash rabbit hunting. I haven't used them before, so that will be interesting to do. Let's just go get some more sticks. It sounds like they're outside, so I think it'll be worth doing. Let's grab these while we're here as well. Break the table down, just so we've got plenty of wood on us. So cook some potatoes, please. And we should be able to make three of them. 22 minutes. Let's check the potatoes. 15 minutes. I think we could probably make some more. Yeah. and stuff. There you go, we've still got another hour. Uh, let's cook that potato. We will cook some coffee. Uh, we'll cook some water as well. A little bit more coffee. And a little bit less water because we won't have time. Good, that'll be fine. Eat the potatoes, go to bed, and we will start again in the morning. Yeah, how long do we have left? 38 hours. Yeah, that's, that's still four days worth of sleep. That's really annoying. Let's try and pass the time for one hour, and we'll read for a couple of hours. Uh, what should we go for? Archery, I guess, if we're going to be using it. Two hours of that. When we're this thirsty. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Astrid. <laughs> Forgot we were that thirsty. Did that say we're going to level up archery if we finish this book? It does, but I think if we shot one more thing, we would level it up. We'll leave the crampons here. I just need to remember to pick them up. Just double checking. Cool. I think we're all right. So... In terms of this, how do we swap out arrows? Ah, like R for reload. Clever. Okay, I've only got six of these, and they are no good, to my knowledge, for hunting anything other than ptarmigan or rabbits. Are they even here? They're not even here right now. Really useful. Okay, well, I guess let's go fishing. We have a line. Um, okay. Can we do anything? I'm wondering whether there's anything else we can craft to help with this. So, so we could do a simple fishing lure, scrap metal, 
fishing tie up, scrap metal, and a workbench. We might as well try and make that. That sounds quite good. Uh, we'll make us what we can that will help us with fishing, because we're going to be here a little while. We might as well. I'm not sure how much scrap metal we're going to be able to get from this place, but we'll see. If we can get two pieces, that's enough. Because I think the tie-ups, what we do is we make them and then we just leave it. And eventually it will just uh, tell us when we've got a fish. And I think that's a lot better than just sitting there actively fishing because we can be doing other stuff. Whereas I don't know if there's any metal we can harvest in this place. I could take apart the can opener. I think I can take apart uh, the cooking pots, technically. Oh, and the storm lantern. It is low condition anyway. I might just do that. I don't like doing that normally, but we do get one scrap metal from that. Quick look around to see if there is any other way we can do this, but I'm not sure if there is. Metal lamp. Okay, we can do the metal lamp. And I think that's probably the only thing we can take apart, unfortunately. Harvest. That's fine. That's two. Not too shabby. And then we should be able to make the fishing stuff that we need at the workbench. So, simple lure and the tie-up. We're good. And fishing is quite uh, time intensive, so I think we'll bring some books with us. We can do some fishing. That one. That one. That one. We're going to need some fire, aren't we, for cooking. So we should bring the wood that we've got. Five, six, seven. That's not going to be enough, is it? <laughs> Break that one down. Right, here we go. Uh, it feels like the wind's picking up. Not great. I really wanted to get to the one that had a door on it. I'm not sure we're going to be able to now. Let's just make a way across. I reckon let's go for that one. It looks like there might be a blizzard coming on. Now, the problem is, if there's no door, the wind's just going to go straight in for that one, isn't it? Um, we'll see how it goes. Oh, no, the wind's dying down. Good. Grab a couple of these. If we can get ten, which looks like we're probably going to be able to, that'll keep us going. Is that a wall? Mm, I don't think so. No, I don't know what that is. It doesn't seem like a wolf. It does make me worry where the wolves are, because there's normally quite a few around here. Right, well, anyway, let's have a look in here. We've got some decent firewood. Very nice. Uh, we've got some sulfur for gunpowder. Scrap metal. Where were you, like, five minutes ago? Only cattails on... There's some cattails there. And there's the one with the door. That's one we're kind of aiming for, because it's a bit safer. Cool. That's cattails harvested. A couple more around here. There's no wolves. This is really strange. There's normally tons. I don't know where they all are. Well, make use of the uh, opportunity, I guess. Get all the cattails around here. I guess then if there's no wolves... Yeah, there's just none. Uh, we will go to the fishing hut at the far end. Then we'll go check out that house. And then we'll go fishing. Because at that point, we should be fairly safe. I just don't know where they've all gone. Unless it was just because the wind picked up and they all ran and they all scarpered or something. I want to be a little bit careful when we come out this fishing hut after we're done. But we should have enough fire to keep us going until tomorrow morning. So hopefully everything will be fine. I reckon we'll probably end up sleeping in that fishing hut. If we've got the fire going we've got a, a uh, sleeping bag, we'll be fine. Now that's the bear cave over there. We do need to be a little bit wary just in case one happens to be here. I doubt it. We've killed two in this area. I don't think there's going to be any more than that. Got another hook, and do we got that wood? That's very nice. Ooh, actually fishing tackle. Very nice. Let's go over to this one. I think if there's any cattails, we'll harvest them on the way, because the chance of us actually being able to harvest them again is slim with wolves and potential bears. I would drink almost anything about now. Yeah, I know, Astrid. Just wait till we get inside and you can have a drink. And it's rare that I can actually be able to even visit this because of the amount of wolves in Stalker. It's just ludicrous. If there's a bear here and there's all the wolves, it's just near impossible to get to this place without having to fight them off. Um, so we can actually visit it today, which is quite nice. 
My only concern is if we go in, we might come out and there's going to be a load of wolves. So, yeah, there's, there was always that. We've got a scrawled message, a memento with a survival hint. Can't stomach things, but plenty of MREs down at the dam, the broken window room. Oh, we got the key. Oh, that's that one. There's a memento box in the dam. Apparently, there's plenty of MREs in there, so we're going to go there later, or another day. A rose hip in the bin? Fine. What have we got in here? Nothing. Take the book for starting a fire. And we've got whatever's in here. I'll take that for the cloth. Can we still run? We can, just about. We could harvest some more scrap metal. 15 minutes, that's fine. Just in case we want to make any more hooks or whatever. A couple more books. And hopefully the wolves aren't there. Although it has been a, probably about half an hour. Oh, it's still alright. Don't know where they are. I'm not complaining too much. Okay, let's go to that fishing hut there. Yeah, and then we've just got though that hut there to explore. We've got one or two around the corner. And then that'll be fine. I just don't know where these wolves are. Okay. Well, here's our little home for the next day, I guess. Beef jerky and rifle ammunition. Very nice. Got a sewing kit. Oh, this is a nice little place we found. Come on, another ri uh, uh, revolver. <laughs> I can't talk revolver bullet down there. Thank you very much. And I guess then... Let's uh, break the ice. Use the crowbar. And we should just be able to place our fishing stuff in the hole. There we go. We can place that and... Actually, let's, let's use that. We could use the line or we could use that. I think that and that is fine. Cool, let's have a quick drink of something to eat while we're waiting. I don't know how long this is going to take to catch a fish, but we will read a book at a time. So we've got one hour left on that. That's done. Okay, let's drop that. Read that one. Read an hour. Yes, there we go. Brilliant. Break the ice. Weird, the crowbar. What do we get? A fresh lake white fish. Now, I believe this white fish is quite good for bait. Six bait. Nice. Okay, now that make, should make it significantly easier to catch more fish. Right, so that one. We want the lure. We want the bait start fishing good right and then i think we might have enough light to read one more hour of this maybe even two if we're lucky but we've caught something anyway this is good this is very nice fishing line snapped oh screw you um oh that's the lure gone already that lasted a long time didn't it we just need to use fishing bait no wrong one Oh, I caught it. That's just with the <laughs> just with the hook and line. We want to do that. There we go. Start the fire. We'll cook up this fish that we've got. I didn't see how many calories it was. I imagine it's about 600. And yeah, we'll just keep reading. And this is our life for, I guess, the next day or so. Five hours. Cool. Place that. I'll put that down. And we should be able to cook this fish. Very nice. Right. And how many calories is it after that? Nearly 700. Very nice. And we get vitamin C from that as well, so that's great. And we've caught another one. Useful. Ooh, 4.8 kilos. Not going to complain about that. Let's cook this bass. It's going to be so many calories. Um, amazing. So that's going to be 45 minutes. We might as well read for an hour. There we go. And we should have leveled up in archery. Level 3. Boom. Yeah, and we're a good chunk of the way to level four. Excellent. Right. The bass is cooked. 1,700 calories. Amazing. And these are quite stinky, so we're going to have to make sure that we don't have too much um, fish on us when we leave here, because the wolves will come and get us. Uh, it's still not done. Let's cook a little bit of water, then. Done now. So another lake white fish. Another one then. Excellent. And we didn't have a huge amount of bait, no, so I reckon we should probably uh, use that fish to craft some more. Six bait. Nice. I guess let's cook a bit more water. There we go. 
another bass, 4.6. Set that up. And you might have noticed that when we cooked this last time, we did get a little bit of lamp oil. So that's the way you get lamp oil renewably, is... Um, oh, we can't even do that. Is to cook fresh fish. And at that point, you get lamp oil, which is amazing. So that's chuck all these on. I think we're going to have to move them across to there. So that we can then pop our sleep bag down. So we can sleep for an hour. We'll just have to sleep for an hour at a time, I guess. There we go. And the fish is cooked. And we've caught something else. This is great. Loving this. 3.88. Not as good as before, but not too bad. This is really nice and really easy. Once you've caught one fish, it's pretty straightforward to then keep catching them for ages. And this thing seems to be lasting a long time, so I'm pretty happy about that. Right, wait till that's done. There we go. That's not done yet. We've got three hours on that. I'll sleep for another hour. I think what we're going to have to do is we're just going to keep doing this. We probably won't be that rested by the time we leave here. Uh, but it does mean that we could then go to the nearby houses and do a proper sleep. Another lake fish. Fine. Might as well cook this one up. Don't think we need the bait, really, do we? Sleep for one more hour. It's a lot easier to get food like this than it is any any other way. Like, for the amount of calories we get, that's nice. We could read, but I think I'm going to sleep for one more hour. Just so that we're rested enough, I think. There we go. But really, our main limiting factor in this is wood. Nice. That's very nice. There we go. I think we won't be able to last much longer. 4.5 kilos, very nice. I think we'll go until this bait runs out. It does sound like a storm out there, which isn't great for us. Uh, cook that up. It was that the last bait we had. I think that was the last bait. Yes, this is fine. Look at all this fish, though. <laughs> There's so many calories. Uh, we are very encumbered. That's the only problem. I'm just going to open the door just to see if there are wolves. I don't know where they are. There's normally wolves here. They just there's none here. This is really odd. Uh, let's close that door. <clears throat> right. Um. I guess we'll cook a tiny bit of water. Uh, and hope that it does its thing. No. Uh, we've got thirty minutes. No. Still nothing. Still nothing. Oh, it's done. Just as a... Uh, fine. Take that. Leave the non pot water here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put it up here just so we don't drink it. This will clear. Take it. Uh, it's just one of them. What I'll do is I'll turn that into bait, leave it outside. And then we can uh, always uh, do some more fishing another time. All right, sounds like a blizzard. Can't run. Uh, we'll drop a little bit of water, we'll drop the bait, and hopefully we'll be able to walk at that point. Right, we can't see where we're going. Uh, let's drop the bait outside. Let's go this direction. Hang on, was it that direction? I don't know, actually, no, let's go wait. We'll, we'll, we'll wait, we'll wait. I don't really want to risk it. Let's read two hours of this. Two more hours? One more hour? We'll just be able to do it. Oh, nice. Okay, well, that's a way we can start the fire next time. Good. It's still raging on. Might just have to sleep the night here. I don't mind that. We've got tons of fish. We can spoil the rest in the morning. Let us put our bedroll down. We'll sleep for a few hours at a time. I think we should be warm enough in here, especially with the Im improvised bedroll. But I don't really want to take any chances. Yeah, I still don't really want to go outside. We're all right. We're fine. Rather be in here than out there. Right, there we go. And how long do we have left of this? 21 hours. That's good. We'll probably be down to about, hopefully, 15. So it'll be two more days worth. Ooh, I got a badge. Yay. Cold fusion. 100 days outside. Whoop, whoop. Oh, it's been... I've nearly had it for a while. That's amazing. Finally got it. <laughs> oh, good. Um, the other one we nearly there is that one. That won't take long. 
another hundred or so, so many days. That one we're nearly done as well. Oh, that's good. I feel like I'm kind of semi-decent at this now. <laughs> Even if um the stinky lines don't show when you click tab, fish do still smell and wolves can still detect them. Um, it just doesn't show that it can. You're not that stinky, but you're still stinky enough they'll be able to detect you. So if we have any meat in our inventory, they can detect you slightly. So, yeah, we are going to have to watch out for that anyway. And I'm a bit worried after this last blizzard they might start coming back. Anyway, that's rest for an hour. We might need to rest for a little bit more. Oh, we can sleep. Fine. I'd rather sleep, Joyce. Than, uh, well, we don't have a book to read anyway, do we, dear? Yeah, that's fine. Pick that up. Eat a little bit of that. We'll have a little bit of drink. We'll go to the houses. A little bit of water. We've got a book to start a fire. And we've got some non-potable water. Now, this is the thing. We're that little bit stinky. That if there are any wolves nearby, if we're, like, within 50 meters of them, probably they're going to be like, ooh, that sounds good. And I can hear some wolves. So we do need to be a little bit careful. There is a hunter's blind over there I could go and look at. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. Uh, do we have a light source? We've got a torch. Go away, please. Yeah. I presumed he was going to be around there if he wasn't over there. Um, the fact there's only one still makes me sceptical. I reckon there's going to be more. Yeah, but the problem is he's now going to be there. <laughs> he will come back. I think he can still sense me from over there. We'll get into this building quickly. Well, uh, Inspector, we'll go over to the next house around the corner, and I think we just need to get back to the camp office as quick as possible, really. Um, how heavy are we? Yeah, I don't really want to take that fire log. All that. Yeah, it doesn't throw off much heat, but I think it lasts quite a long time. It's quite good if you want... So if I wanted to use it in, like, the fishing hut, for example, it would be pretty good. But, um, for actual heat, it's not very good at all. Okay, I think I'm going to leave this. Yeah, leave all that. And we'll make our way around. Got a body over here. Wolf's probably going to come from over there to find us. Yep, I think he's on his way. Dog food. Can we leave that for the wolf? Go away. Oh, he's coming. At least we can lure him back to where he came from. Which I don't mind as much. Uh, it looks like we've got three over here to look at, which is quite nice. Fine, we can just walk him around. I don't think he's actually going to bother catching up with us. We'll have enough distance between us because of the torch. Yeah, we're fine. Keep your distance, Wolfie. We don't want any trouble. Let's go in. Cool. Uh, what do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Some fleece mittens we can use. Um, so the cloth. Scrap metal again. We can make some more lures, because apparently we need uh, lots of them, because they barely last any time at all. Um, we've got some more lantern fuel. Cool. Tomato soup. It does look like we can get some scrap metal here, which is quite nice. We wanted to like deconstruct this as well, for example. That's not too shabby. Uh, ooh, first aid. Bandage. Very nice. Let's go check out the last two. Uh, we have another book. Do not want that. Uh, noop, noop, noop. Scar. Cloth. Oh. No, come on. This stuff will come in handy. The cloth, I guess, yeah. Sure. Right, last one, and we'll go back. I'm hoping we've got enough distance between us and Wolfie that he won't bother us again. A ski jacket. No, I think we're we're way past ski jackets, really. Stack of papers. Uh, ooh, a flare. Got that, we've got that stump remover. That's pretty rare, so I will take it. Ooh, very nice maple syrup. 
Like nothing else hiding, is there? Don't think so. Um, no, okay, let's go. Just while this torch wears out, kind of want to get back. Okay. We could probably get quite a lot more cattails from around here if I actually checked everywhere, but honestly, we've got quite a lot of uh, food on us anyway. Don't want to tempt fate with this wolf. He's there anyway. Back again. We just keep walking. Um, I might try and scale before the torch wears out, though. Yeah, let's do it now so we've got enough time to uh, relight it with another one. Come on, then. Oh, don't run ahead of me. The whole point of what I'm trying to do. Uh, for God's sake. And you're just going to come straight back. I was hoping to avoid. Okay, well, he's running off again. I think it reset and because he saw the wolfskin coat and he decided to run away again. Uh, but he's turned around again to come back. Yeah, he's, he's not going to give up. Oh, he's still running away. He's very confused, this wolf. Well, it does look like there's only one wolf here, which I'm surprised at. I guess they can migrate and move around. So we might have to contend with more in the future. But honestly, the fact that there's only one here is quite good for us right now, especially when we're in this low condition. Because if you have to try and fight off three while you're trying to just fish, it must be a nightmare. I could kill him. We can lure him up to the camp office. I could actually kill him. Cook it up. Nice wolf steak before we end the episode. My only concern is if I get out of the bow and arrow, um, I don't think I've got the right arrows equipped. <laughs> so it might make it a bit more difficult. That sounded like a second wolf woofing. I'm really hoping it wasn't. I'm not sure if I can cope with a second one appearing behind me or something right now. Right, we should just be able to get onto the balcony. Get out of the boat. Oh no, we do, do equip the right arrows, that's nice. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, he's given up. You can come back. I kind of actually want you now. Nice. Uh, take that. Actually, no, you know what? Let's drop all the meat. Don't want to risk any more wolves detecting us while we're here. Harvest that up. 59 minutes. There's clearly a wolf nearby. I can hear it howling, but it's probably behind us. I'm hoping it wasn't walking over here before we dropped the meat, to be honest. I think if it was, it would have gone after the deer. But we're fine. We're very stinky now. That's another wolf hide. Not that we really need any more. But that's another wolf hide. And we're quarter of the way done. Hey. Right, a couple more guts, because we do need more guts. And we've got dusting sulfur, and we've got stump remover. Both of which are very much needed for making gunpowder. Coolio. We'll start the fire, we'll cook this wolf meat. And then I think I'm going to end the episode. But, uh, not, not the greatest, uh, seeing as it's been us recovering from that uh, moose attack. But I think we've done alright, seeing as we've... Uh, <laughs> we've... We've been at very low capacity this whole time. We've got 13 hours left. Yeah, probably by tomorrow we'll be fine. You know what? I'm actually going to sleep one hour just so it's the 12. We will be fully recovered for next episode is what I mean. Cook the gamey meat. Add a few more bits of this. Good. Tastiness. And that's done, isn't it? Do we? Was that all we got food-wise? I guess. Uh, it wasn't the biggest wolf in the world, was it? Pretty lean. Uh, cook. We could cook the soup while we're here. Might as well just get the extra calories and the fire's going. Also get the experience. There we go. And I'm wondering, do we have anything that we could use for cooking cooking? We're going to go downstairs and I'm going to grab that banged up pinnacle peaches outside. We're going to cook a little peach cobbler. 
and then I think the end. I'll end the episode there. Well, I think we've done all right considering our handicap. So next episode we will be going to Milton, and yeah, exploring that region, which will be very very nice. And then we'll uh, go to Fallen Muskeg and explore that, and then we'll yeah go explore everywhere really that we can. Peach pie. We can also cook the rosehip pie. Ah, brilliant. We've got some peach pies, and what else can we make? We can make pancakes. How many calories? 600. I think we only get one, whereas this we get three. It uses a lot less flour, though. Now we'll cook the rosehip. We could technically cook another load of these rosehip pies. Oh, we need to add some more fuel. Oh, we don't have any more fuel. There's no more fuel whatsoever. Um, how long is it going to take to break apart this table? Probably too long. I, I think we'll be fine. Just quickly run. There we go. We're fine. There we go. Those done. That means we can cook up, uh, I guess, some more rosehip pies. There we go. Beautiful. Cook up a little bit of water while we're here. There we go. Nice. And let's have a look at these. So we've got all the food in the world now, which is very nice. We've got elegant peach pies. They give us a fatigue bonus, but they give us a headache. Uh, same with the rosehip pies. Uh, but uh, the peach pies have slightly more calories. So headaches are a bit weird. I think it's meant to be because you get like a sugar crash. I'm not quite sure. But we get 300 calories a piece. That's not bad. 900 calories for what we get. Uh, we've also got the wolf meat. And we still got the fish meat. So I recommend let's eat a elegant peach pie. Uh, we'll eat an elegant... Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to eat an elegant rosehip pie. There we go. Save the maple syrup, I guess. Uh, if uh, we want to make some pancakes. And should we finish off the low-calorie fish? I think we should just about be able to. Perfect. So I'm going to dump... Oh, we've got this headache. We've got this weird effect. <laughs> okay, we're going to go dump the meat outside. And how close are we to level 5? Cooking. We're halfway. Okay, not bad. Those birds aren't there, are they? I, I make the fire, fire tipped arrows. And then they just don't appear. <laughs> so annoying. Might just be because it's too late. Uh, but we'll maybe try and hunt some of them tomorrow. Or just try some rabbits either way. But I think a fairly successful episode. Uh, not as much as I would have liked to have done. But we did do quite a lot of fishing. Um, we, we got all that and we only went to that level. Gosh, it's going to take forever to level up ice fishing. Is that just because we didn't really do the fishing? I wonder if uh, that's the payoff. Is you use that little fish trap thing. But you don't get the XP from it. I don't know, because that seems that we caught a lot of fish, and that seems like that's not really reflective of what we caught. Maybe it is. Not quite sure. We are now on day 46, nearly on day 47. So I think we're doing pretty well. Right, and on that note, I'm going to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. If you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons and YouTube members. Clint, David, Len, Valise, Laurie Lord, T Chaos, Toolman, Natural Cheese, Mikey Soundtrack, King of Fawns, Skylar Burchell, Charles, Mint Salad, Lax, Brian, Mickey, David, Tyler, and Codry Pierce. Cheers, guys. You just are all amazing. Thank you so much for helping me and the channel. It helps keep the channel going. So just thank you so much. So yeah, I will see you next episode. Bye-bye.